When you think of perfume bars, you might think big cities such as New York, Paris or Tokyo would be the best place to set up shop. And you'd be forgiven for doubting whether or not one would work here in Auckland. But there's one man who thinks otherwise. I'm outside Yves Andre in Hillsborough, where I've come to meet French perfumer Yves Dombrowski, who designs 70% of the fragrances for New Zealand's cosmetics and household cleaning products. He's now branched into personalised fragrances and has custom designed a perfume bar for those who are after a signature scent. So I thought I'd come and take a look. Let's go in. While cosmetics and household cleaning products are Eve's bread and butter, in recent years he's attracted the attention of our Kiwi fashion designers who are turning to him to design fragrances. Stitch Ministry launched a fragrance last year and Trilise Cooper is set to launch a designer scent in the coming months. So Eve, how did the idea of opening a perfume bar come about? I've been involved in perfumery for many, many years. And it's an idea I have had uh, almost since I started 15 years ago. And uh, you, have to, uh, you have to get a lot of knowledge to be uh, confident enough to do your own perfume bar. Yeah, it's an idea I had uh, from start. Right? What type of woman is coming to you so looking you. for a signature scent? Oh, people first who love perfume. I think it's very important that you must be in love with perfume. And people, I guess, who know themselves very well. So is your perfume bar is your own concept, yes. this design yep. is your innovation. Yes. Tell, tell me how it works and how, how the consultation works. It should be called a perfume piano or perfume organ because it's, uh, it's really like a piano, it's starting from a very, very sharp note. And the uh, more you, you, you go that direction, the more the notes are very heavy. And in the meantime, you, you're passing through all sorts of typical classical or factory classics. So it's really, uh, there is a movement in that perfume bar. Uh, the way we design it is really to, to make people understand their tastes and what they like and associate it to a smell. So really, uh, as soon as the person understands the, the movement, uh, I was explaining just before, I guess it's up to the person to uh, go into the movement, if you want, and find, uh, and find uh, where she's standing. And we're helping people. For that, we're using lots of color, uh, color classification. Every, every class we, we have designed is associated, with, in fact, with two colors. And one of the dominant questions we're asking people first, of course, is to pick up their favorite color. For me, a color will immediately uh, define where a person stands in terms of, of olfactory test. And from there, we, uh, we define the associated color. And we, with these two colors, we have the way enough information to know if you are more a person who loves floral smell, or woolly smell, or, or marine smell. And, uh, and after we just uh, refine the, the test by doing some very simple uh, twisting mm -hmm. to be sure that the direction is uh, even more personalized than the, the piano we have here. So it's very important to understand that all the bays we are here are bays that can be mixed together and they are all of them right there. And how many bases are there? We, are, we have was 179 dominant one and all of them have three, vi uh, three variations. So there's around 750 bases altogether. So there's definitely something for everyone. And this is why it's so easy now if I can have the right direction from you I can really mock a perfume very similar to your test within 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes yeah, is all it takes. Yeah. I've done some in less than 10 minutes. Yeah. The most complex one take around half an hour. Everybody, anyone who watches this is going to want to know how much does this kind of service cost? We, um, we are charging uh, around $500 to design a perfume like that. That can involve one consultation like that or it can expand to two consultations. Like if we are finishing that consultation and we are not very happy, you will leave with some small sample to wear for a few days or maybe a week, and then you will come back next week for us to finish it. So the price, the price won't change. What skills does a perfumer need to make great perfume? I mean, everybody knows that a good perfumer needs around 20 to 25 years training. So it's a constant learning. Even uh, me after 15 years, I'm still learning all the time. 
So it's, it's, it requires a lot of patience and uh, it's, it's a big exercise of memory. You have to memorize a lot of things. And then it's a question of being an artist, because a perfumer is, is an artist. And to uh, use your intuition and use your feeling to decide I'm going to mix that one with that one to please what the customer is asking you. So you really have to, to get um, the feeling of what your customer wants and translate it into a perfume. What have you observed so far with Kimi Woman? What, what, what things do we favour? In the cosmetic industry, we have a lot of experience. The clean, really natural New Zealand has definitely influenced a lot of smell, and we are designing a lot of natural, bushy, leafy notes. In terms of personalized design, to be honest, I've been very amazed to see the richness of what people are asking me. How many fragrances should a woman own? As many as they want. <laughs> I think it should be endless. I mean, I guess uh, if you were really um, pleasing your factory sense, you should have at least 20 years. At least 20? Yes, I think so. For different moods? For different moods, for different dressing, different color, different season, different occasion. I think it's, yeah, I think uh, perfume should really complement uh, yourself, like uh, people are doing for makeup or for dressing. Most women could be on average around five, maybe, yeah. on average fragrances. Average, yeah, yeah. So we neglect it. I think we are. That side of the olfactory sense is neglected, and I think, uh, I hope that with what we are doing, people are going to take advantage of, um, of having more perfume to match more their personality. I mean, uh, everybody you knows that women have multiple personality and, and facets, so I think every face of a woman should be uh, implemented, it should be complemented by a perfume. You heard it here, you need to go and buy more perfume. Best of luck, and thanks so much yeah. for your time today. No problem, thank you very much.